Hey friends, welcome to the channel. Um, today is kind of random. I wasn't expecting to vlog, but I am on the hunt for a book. So I figured I should vlog my book shopping day, basically. Uh, with book shopping, I hardly ever have a book in mind that I really want to get. Um, not nowadays, at least. I kind of just look around for what I want and I usually just buy something randomly but today we actually have a book on the agenda that we're trying to buy and that is Redeeming Love. Um, if you don't know about Redeeming Love it is actually a Christian fiction book. It's a retelling of the book Hosea in the Bible and a movie just came out for it and so I really want to read it. Um, I really love Hosea. It's one of my favorite books in the Old Testament but I definitely want to read that book before watching the movie and so we're on the hunt for that. I'm here at a thrifted book shop. I'm gonna see if that's here and if not then we'll just go to Mardell's which is a Christian bookstore so they'll probably for sure have that. Um, so we'll only go there if we don't find any here at the thrifted one. And then if I feel like it, I might go to Books A Million too because I've had the random urge to buy November 9th so I can reread it and annotate it this time. <laughs> I know in my review I said, or I gave it three stars, but I also said I didn't know how I felt about it and I honestly still don't, but I also kind of love that book. <laughs> I still think about it often. Um, so... I really want to buy it, and I want to buy All Your Perfects, but I want to buy the new cover of All Your Perfects, so All Your Perfects might have to wait, so, and I only want to buy November 9th, hello, can you calm down, I also only want to buy November 9th if it's the old cover, I don't want the new cover, I really don't want the new cover, it just doesn't make sense, so, um, I want the old cover, only gonna buy it if it's the old cover, and All Your Perfect's only going to buy if it's the new cover. So, we got some requirements with those two. Um, but yeah, so this is basically a bookstore shopping vlog. So, hope you enjoy! <laughs> I actually found it. I can't believe that I actually found it. I don't have the patience for thrifting, so I suck at it. <laughs> but I actually found the book. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. I thought this trip was going to be a bust, honestly. Um, and since it's a movie now, I didn't know if they would have it or not. Um, but they had two. And so I just looked at which one looked less gross and <laughs> got that one um I didn't realize it would be so freaking tall like look at this what is this this is the freaking sizing of like large print and it's not even well is it large print would this be considered large print guys I don't know <laughs> but yay I'm so excited I got another book by her too um it's called a lineage of grace um I saw like a tiktok <laughs> um for like Christian fiction or something and the girl really liked this one and it's just like um it's what is this <laughs> it's five stories of unlikely women who change eternity and so it's just stories about um some of the women in the bible so Tamar um Rahab Ruth Bathsheba and Mary so it's five of these women that are in the lineage of Jesus and so it's just stories about them and then I think it even has like a Bible study in here. Yeah. Each woman's story includes a six part Bible study. Perfect for a personal study or group discussion. So I got that also. Um, so I got these two and the total is like nine bucks. So happy with that. Now we don't have to go to Mardell's, which 
it's fine by me. I'm already kind of tired, low key. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm like, I'm like a sloth for real, for real. Cause I'm already kind of tired and over it. And I was probably in there for like 30 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah. A part of me doesn't even want to go to Books a Million and find November 9th. But I also have to go ret do an Amazon return. And I'm, and I'm taking it to Kohl's, which is pretty close to Books a Million. So I'll probably still go. But yeah, I'm so excited. I actually found it. Yay! <laughs> Hey friends, so Books A Million was kind of a bust. The Books A Million that's in my town at least does not have a very good selection of Colleen Hoover books. Um, it's pretty low and the main thing they had was Verity, which I definitely haven't read yet. I'd like to read it. I'd definitely like to read it at some point, but um, I already put it on hold at, on Libby, so I felt kind of dumb buying it when I'm already waiting on it on Libby. So, yeah, didn't get anything there, so I decided to go to Mardell's anyways, even though I already found Redeeming Love. Um, and I did end up buying a book, so, yeah. This is the book, it's called Rom Romano? Roman? Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. But, it's pretty, it's quite pretty. I like the cover. But, um, first of all, her name in this is Natasha Romano. Or no, hold on, wait. It's it's Anastasia Romanov. But as you could see from what I just said, it's my brain keeps thinking it's Natasha Romanoff because it's so similar. Um, I just love Marvel, and so my brain can't deal with the fact that it's Anastasia Romanov and not Natasha Romanoff. So, and she even has a nickname that's uh. N N N Nastia? Nastia? I don't know. Nastia? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. This book seemed pretty interesting. Um, it seems like it's gonna be like a either enemies to lovers or like forbidden romance type of deal. Um, so, that's cool. <laughs> um, and I got it for $5. It was in the bargain, bargain books section at Mardell's and so it was five bucks which is the only reason I bought it <laughs> but yeah so I'd say today was a success um even though I didn't find the November 9th um Colleen Hoover stuff it it's more of a wholesome vlog I guess because it's all like Christian stuff even though um Romanov I've never read anything in that section that's, like, fiction. I've only, at Mardell's, I've only read, like, Christian living stuff. So, I don't know why this is at Mardell's. I don't know if it's only because it's clean and there's, like, no smut in it. Or if it has, like, deeper meanings like Narnia or something, you know? So, um, I have no idea. <laughs> I have two other books from Mardell's in that section at home that I still haven't read so I still don't know the answer to that and I've had those books for like three four or five months <laughs> so there's that but yeah um so to recap I have that book um at the used bookstore I got a lineage of grace um this one is the only one that's kind of like tarnished and beat up from there uh Redeeming Love was pretty, um, there's a girl right next to my car, and she's, I think she's just on the phone, but she's freaking me out. <laughs> uh, I lost my train of thought now, because I'm scared. Well, I'm not scared, I'm just uncomfy, because, yeah, but, what the heck was I saying? Oh, A Lineage of Grace, that book is kind of tarnished, but Redeeming Love is, like, in pretty good condition, it's, like, basically perfect. So that's great. Love that. Um, so all together I spent like I spent like 14, 15 bucks for three books. That's pretty good, I'd say. Um so yeah. This is the Christian fiction hall, I guess. 
my Christian fiction haul, I guess. Um, I've gotten pretty good with not buying an excessive amount of books now. I used to not um, do that when I first started reading a lot, um, about like six, seven months ago. Um, I felt like I had to buy everything that I wanted to read because it just seemed like all the like booktubers and like book talkers all bought their books just all the time and they just had like wall to wall and wall to ceiling bookshelves just filled with books which is fun and good for them like that's their money they can do what they want you know but I think felt like I had to do that in order to read <laughs> and then I realized no I don't there's things like Libby there's things like the public library and they have a good selection both options have great selections and so um that's why I'm a little more lenient with buying books now um I'll probably still like buy books off a whim sometimes like with Romanov um but for the most part, I want to try to refrain from buying a whole lot just willy-nilly, <laughs> basically. Um, I only really want to buy books that I either want to reread or are classics or I just genuinely want to own it type of thing. Um, so, yeah. That's why I'm considering buying November 9th and I want to buy all your perfects because I really like those and I want to actually own them so even if I never end up rereading it <laughs> but I do want to own those and so yeah um anyways thanks for coming to this little adventure with me this like wholesome Christian fiction vlog day <laughs> um I hope you enjoyed it um, thanks for helping me not feel like it was such a task. <laughs> I love book shopping, and I really do, but, I don't know, lately I just enjoy being home more, and so sometimes it's hard to just, like, do the things you still enjoy doing, because you'd rather just be home, <laughs> because being home is funner now, you know? Like, I'd rather just be home and reading a book instead of going out at all. Even if it's going out to do something fun, it takes a lot of mental energy, to be honest. And, um, you guys helped it not feel so draining. So, thanks for tagging along. Suggest anything down in the comments that you'd like to see. Um... If you want to see reading vlogs of any of these books or something, um, let me know. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and I will see you later, my bookworms and book whores. Bye! Bye.